on our way to uh he's my husband i love him we on our way to unleashed uh having a big huge event tonight I'm trying to see if i can grab a flyer real quick um if you're in the hamden new haven area you want to hit this spot up tonight unleash 60 Con connelly uh, in hamden yo lots of artists coming out tonight spoken word holy hip-hop christian hip-hop whatever you want to call that kind of rap um dj mr c over here <laughs> He, uh, he's going to DJ for us tonight. Um, tonight I will we'll post a couple videos so y'all can, you know, stay tuned even if you're not in the area. Um, I'm a poet. I'm going to be reading a couple poems from my new book. She's a published author too. Reading from my new book tonight. Um, it's called Takes Courage. And uh, I was looking for a copy, but I can't find one right this second. Anyway, here's the shirt. It takes courage. Be Leah is my name. Um, but yo, I wanted to tell y'all about this walk, this leap, this run, this jump of faith that we are on. We are preparing to go back to school. And there are so many, no, there aren't so many challenges or obstacles. There's actually one challenge and obstacle right now that is in our way. Um, and it can, it has literally been a struggle to not give up on faith, to have a live faith, to have uh, like, a, like a live wire that's sparking and, and it's just like, I'm sorry, bad connection, we're driving, that's probably why. Um, hopefully it gets better. Um, but we, um, we're, 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 our faith is alive and every day we have to choose to keep it alive or to let it die. And you know, like the Bible says that faith without good works is dead. And so we have to continue to have good works um, in order to keep our faith alive. You know, um, we believe that God honors our faith, that he is pleased with our faith. And so whatever we need to do, we have to keep it alive. If that's sing a song, if that's clap our hands, we'd rather be crying. If that's packing bags and packing boxes, even when it feels like we have no business packing anything, like we should just give up and, and not go through, um, we keep going. And so I just want to encourage y'all to just keep going. If God has told you that it is your time to do something specific in your life, go for it. Don't stop. Don't let anybody around you or even yourself tell you anything different. That the road is not going to be easy or, or simple or sweet even. Sometimes there'll be lots of rocks and boulders and walls and barriers in your way. But I'm telling you, y'all, like, like it's either going to happen or it's not. But there's no sense in not trying. Trying till the end. Um, my thing is, our prayer is, God's will be done on earth as it already is done in heaven. And so if this thing completely falls apart in the way that our eyes um, judge things falling apart, then it wasn't his will anyway. But if this thing happens and we move forward and our financial aid to go back to school is all set and, and, and we show up to class come August 31st, woo, it is well. Either way, it is well. So anyway, tonight is all about taking courage. It's all about um, moving forward. It's all about being unleashed so that we can do exactly what it is that we were meant to do. And that is to be free and to be without fear and to just move forward in the grace and power Life and beauty and perfection that is God. Yo, I hope you have a good night. I hope that whatever happened to you today, whatever you experienced today that may have been unpleasant, I really hope that, that you are able to look back over this day and be thankful for it anyway. And as this evening comes to a close, 
I really pray that you would experience a joy and a peace that is nothing like this world can give to you. I love y'all. Y'all take care. And uh, we'll talk later. I'm going to post some more uh, footage left, later on. Right talk to you later. Unleashed, y'all. Unleashed. Remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yeah, and <laughs> it is said that we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. So speak the word, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak it. Speak what isn't as if it already is. Tell people about the struggles that you're going through, y'all. Don't wait until the battle is over. Don't wait until you rise among the ashes and you're like, you know, you look victorious. Tell the story why you down in the muck and the mire and, and down when you when you in the pig pen. Tell the story then. Tell them about how hard this life is. Tell them how hard it is to stay clean, to stay off of drugs, how hard it is to stop prostituting yourself. Tell them now about it. Cause that's, that's where the overcome is. Y'all, I, I wanna, definitely we wanna pray and, and definitely speak encouragement to those folks whose churches have been burned down in the South and in other parts of this country. Our country is in need of a, a, a healing. There is something awful and cowardice when somebody would burn down a place of worship. I don't care what kind of denomination, what faith it is. You don't burn down nobody's sacred space. But at the end of the day, it is a space, a building. But when you have whatever that faith is in your heart and you walk it out every single day, that's what matters. They can't burn that down.